All right, I want to do this segment kind of recapping quickly on Monday. Fantasy boomers and busters, you know, not typically like the guys that are supposed to be there, but guys that maybe weren't on your radar having a great week, guys that should be there having a terrible week. So let's start a quarterback. Wentz. Yeah, baby. Carson Wentz, uh, the Wentz wagon. Famous Jameis. Those are my fantasy quarterback boomers of the week. Uh, Busters, Brady. I mean, just one of those games where he just didn't have to do anything. Very frustrating quarterback, I'm sure, at times to have on your roster. Stafford, I have him in one league. He was disappointing. Couldn't do anything. His arm looks, you know, I might be looking to the waiver wire if I'm a Stafford owner. Lance, you know, I was only drafting Lance if I was going to quarterbacks, which I typically don't do. And, um, you know, he disappointed in week one. Again, it was a rain slot. It was a monsoon. It was a monsoon at Soldier Field. What do we make of it? Rodgers, I have in a league. Yikes. Also putting me a little bit on alert where I'm like, holy crap, he's not going to have anyone to throw to all year. Boomers for, I just got one for running back. It was kind of a week day or a week, yeah, week day for the position, I thought, overall. Hilliard, I don't know what to do. The the second, the third guy for the Titans, he was big in the receiving game, had a couple of touchdowns. He's your boomer. And, of course, uh, Derrick Henry, your bust. Zeke, bust fantasy-wise. Uh, Kamara, how about Travis Etienne? Oh, he's gonna go off this year. Uh, it was James Robinson, actually. Uh, I guess you could throw him in a boomer. I just got one for receiver as well. It was kind of just the chase to Jefferson, Michael Pittman Jr. Shout out Colts, uh, and shout out uh, Ricky Larson's pick, uh, kind of highlighting him this week. So we'll get some more advice from him coming up on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, Devin Duvernay, the Texas guy. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but uh, for the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, he had a couple of nice catches, touchdowns. Uh, Bus, how about Kadarius Tony? Giants got the win, but this was a guy that was supposed to have a breakout year. Dud, week one. We figured Amari was going to lose some value. Dud. Uh, I mean, freaking Brissett threw for 147 yards. Lamb, his value. Tanking. Cooper Rush, next man up. And Adam Thielen, tough. You know, I get it. Justin Jefferson's an absolute beast. But, you know, Thielen's been great, and he's probably just lost a step. Age happens. Um, you know, and I he's he was my flex position play, and, uh, you know, he might be moving my bench. Tight end to round us out. O.J. Howard, he only had two catches. Both were touchdowns. All right, this is such a weak position, tight end. Taysom Hill was barely rostered. What are they, all of a sudden, yeah, it's Jameis' show. I guess it was, right? But, damn, they're still using Taysom Hill. Uh, he's only listed as a tight end now because they're still using him as that kind of Swiss Army knife, really not throwing much anymore. Gerald Everett, I'm targeting him on the waiver wire for uh, – he's now the Chargers. He used to be with the Rams, so he just swapped jerseys in the same building. Duds or bus, Gasecki trending down all the way up until kickoff. I'm like, what's going on? He's, you know, he's due for a good game here and there. He's got the talent. He's got the build. Nothing. Speaking of promise, but never production, David and Joku, another terrible year. Kyle Pitts, you know, a little shot at my Falcons uh, team there of old. Uh, maybe he's a bust. Probably not, but uh, he was a bust in week one.